Well, I did it. I pre-ordered the i9-9900K. And obviously, this is not that box. And of course, I couldn't actually have it yet because pre-ordering means it hasn't shipped yet. Yada, yada, yada. Let's talk a little bit about my decision making. Now, before I go into talking a little bit about why getting the 9900K probably won't make a lot of sense for a lot of you out there, I do want to go through the process of which I made the decision to go ahead and pre-order this, and it basically does go ahead and revolve around my YouTube channel in that I already know that I'm going to be able to recoup some of the value back off of the 9900K. Now, there is no doubt that I'll lose money on the thing as a whole, but I will be able to recoup some value through videos. Um, I rarely ever make all of the money that I invest in buying hardware back. A rare example of that was actually the Ryzen 1600. When it first came out, I actually made a little bit of money on buying that chip based off of the content that I made around it. So I do want to go ahead and get a 9900K so I can make some content, hopefully make back, you know, 100, 200 of the dollars if I'm very lucky over the long run. And, and please understand that I'm not getting that money back instantaneously. It's going to be a long process uh, before I really am making that money back. And it'll sort of get lumped in with the other YouTube revenue anyway. So I probably won't in the normal sense of getting it just put right back in my bank account. That's just not going to happen. But I am going to make a little bit of the money back on it. So I did sort of see a little bit more value in that regard. But also, I'm actually going to use this chip. It's not just going to be a chip that gets purchased, tested, and then stuck away in a closet somewhere. It's actually going to replace my 1800X in my main system unless something catastrophic happens. And for some uh, crazy reason, the 1800X still outperforms it, which frankly, if it's a normally functioning 9900K, that's not gonna happen. The Intel architecture still gives you better IPCs and higher clock speeds. So eight cores and 16 threads on both chips, I'm gonna see a significantly better amount of performance, both in gaming as well as in Adobe, uh, both Premiere and Media Encoder. It's just gonna perform better on the 9900K. Although I don't want that to come off as sounding like the 1800X is holding me back because frankly, it's just not. I really just want to get my hands on some high-end hardware. I love testing out CPUs. I think they're really fun to overclock, test out and all that sort of thing. So that's why I'm purchasing it, mostly because of the channel. But if you're in the situation where you are just buying this chip because you are a gamer and you wanna build a high-end gaming system, I would kind of urge you to shy away from it a little bit because most modern games still do a very poor job of taking advantage of a lot of cores and a lot of threads. And really anything beyond the core and thread count of an 8700K is probably not gonna be taken advantage of by the vast majority of the games out there. And right now you can find an 8700K for $380 on Amazon, which at $530 for the 9900K, we're talking about a $150 difference. And the chances are very strong you're gonna see a very small performance drop by dropping down to the 8700K. Now I have no doubt that the 9900K is a better gaming performer as well as really any task overall performer. All I'm saying here is it is just not gonna be as good in the price to performance ratio as an 8700K. And the same argument sort of applies for those of you that may be uh, looking into the 9700K. I'll go ahead and pull it up here on Amazon. And the 9700K right now, you can pre-order this thing for $400. But remember, this is the i7 with the eight cores and eight threads. So no hyper threading on this i7. I really think a lot of gamers are probably just gonna go ahead and opt to save the extra $20 and get six cores and 12 threads. Um, I think for overall productivity, the 8700K is probably still gonna outperform the 9700K. And I think a lot of people are gonna go and opt that way because I think the 8700K is gonna be a better overall uh, general processor. In fact, I'm very curious to see how much the 8700K pulls sales away from the 9700K and vice versa. So how much do those processors cannibalize each other's sales? I'm very curious to see that. If it were me, I wouldn't even touch the 9700K like ever unless I had some very specific things that needed um, high single threaded performance levels, in which case maybe the 9700K uh, wins out just a little bit. But again, 
8700K with overclocking, you're going to be able to hit 5 gigahertz on pretty much all of them. And I imagine about the same is going to be true of the 9700K. So those are my thoughts on the i9 9900K. But of course, I like to kick it back to you guys. Do you plan on picking up one of these new ninth generation Intel processors? Or if you're planning on going the Intel route, are you going to stick with something of an older generation like an 8700K or maybe even older yet, maybe KB Lake, Skylake or even on down to the uh, full blown used market? Let me know down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things do help out quite a bit. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.